a combination of factors. Hard to back her on, you know, from a point of view of handicapping, but some, a horse to kind of keep an eye on, uh, and no surprise to see a significant support for her. Yeah, that's um, Olympic City. Just possible that she's better on the dirt than she is on turf. And I want to mention the jostler very quickly, very consistent. Ran about 12 to 1, got a bit of a squeak, given that decent effort. Caught close home at Leicester last yeah, time. Second in on my card on figures behind Just Like a Woman, both on his last, her last two starts at Leicester and Newbury. Those are both strong time races and strong form. No reason to think the jostler won't be prominent uh, at the end, but stall two is the only drawback. This could be... A slightly confusing race tactically. Massive drift, laddies poker two out to eleven to two. Hundred to thirty favourite, well backed, just like a woman for Michael Bell and Haley Turner for the finale. And with our thanks, here's Mike. Thanks, Angus. Cha cha cha. A little bit restless in the stalls. Tableau Vivant has gone in. Cha 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 won't settle down. Last one to go in is Naughty Frieda, and they're ready here. Set. They're off and racing for the final time tonight. Laddie's poker to a little bit slower than one or two of the others. Falconry was even slower behind them, but she's usually held up anyway. Seven furlongs, the Walker Transport Services Philly Stakes. Lady Aquitaine leads the main group. They're all in a bunch down the center of the course. From Olympic City in the yellow jacket, Tableau Vivon is up there with Oceana Gold's noseband. Just like a woman in the orange cap racing in about fifth place, the jostler on the far side with Cha Cha Cha, ten of the great yellow with a red star, and then comes Gone Fast. Laddie's poker Poker 2, the big drifter in the market. Second to the left as we look at them from the stands. Just tracking there, Naughty Frieda in the green sleeves. Held up towards the back of the pack over on the far side is the, the jostler together with Silka Chiavi as the runners make their way past halfway and down towards the final three furlongs. Lady Aquitaine probably just in front, but it's a toss of the coin between that one and Tableau Vivon in the pale blue jacket down the centre. On the far side, the yellow colours travelling well as Olympic City now shaken up by Kevin Shea. Oceana Gold could have a say the sheepskin nose band the near side laddies poker two is swinging off the bridle and comes there very strongly indeed a furlong and a half to go lady aquitaine on the far side tableau vivon laddies poker two now shaken up on the near side trying to pick up on the far side is the jostler and oceana gold there's four or five with a chance here down the far side the jostler's been produced really late by richard hills and it's a perfectly timed challenge the jostler a double richard hills second tableau vivon tied for third lady aquitaine and laddies poker two got tired in the closing stages. Yeah, the jostler has won. It's beaten Tableau uh, Vivant into second place, just waiting for the third to be called. It's been called six laddies poker two. Fourth was that Lady Aquitaine, but the jostler over on the far side just held up, dropped in behind horses early on, has obliged. Uh, I think Laddie's Poker 2 has run really well, but she was a bit too keen on her reappearance after a, um, a bit of a layoff, and she hasn't quite got home, but the jostler has at 12s. Tremendous selection from your good self, 12 to 1. She came out well on the figures. I prefer just like a woman, but she disappointed. I think this, this bunch of the so solid crew, I think this is really solid handicap in form. They all, I think four of the five involved in the finish had good figures coming into the race and look to have reproduced those. I think the, the race takes, sacks up really nicely with the exception of the favourite. Big eye catcher, I thought, Laddie's poker too. She, was, she travelled well, she was too keen early on, second left, the grey horse. That was just freshness. It's only a second career start. She was mixing it with some pretty resolute characters here, and I thought that she really acquitted herself with a deal of credit. Anyway, she's the horse that's swinging away, second left of shot. The eventual winner, I worried about her stall too, and it's a good job for her that they again clustered down the middle of the track and didn't, again, frustratingly, didn't try the stand rail because she, in the end, she's had to come round them and work really hard, and she's done well to win. A word for Tableau Vivant. She was weak in the market, Sir Michael Stout saw. She's progressing gradually uh, with each start. She was the mount, of course, of this L.P. Berzelin character, who, this was his second start for um, Apprentice, this wonder kid. Second start for Stout. He'd won his only other start for his uh, stable right, um, employer. He's won a race for John Gosden as well. Um, he is a name to look out for. Certainly good value for his claim. That's the jockey on second. But Oceana Gold as well, who finished fifth. They were nicely clear, just like a woman. As I say, I'm not making this out into listed class form or anything. But I just think at its level, it's a really solid race. And certainly clock watchers will, will know what I'm talking about there. There's a, a lot of favourites, horses who are nicely ahead of their mark, according to 
times and that they've all rocked up and gave their running. And in fact, just like a woman, may not have actually been as disappointing as, as, you first thought. as all that, because she did finish a fairly close up sixth, beat the rest. I think she's backed up definitely off um, her penultimate start, which I think came with some cut in the ground. Um, here on, on a slower surface than tonight's anyway. You can see she's bandaged all round. She travelled really strongly then couldn't quicken on the surface. So maybe some ease in the ground is important for just like a woman. Uh, she has only won one race. But this horse in shot, the jostler.